this is the wrap for day 02 for MB05 2023 for Sunday the 30th of April. Bye bye April. Um okay. So I, I I got up, I got up very early, as you would expect. Uh, lots of things to do. Um a blog and posting to various places and the accounts and all that sort of stuff. And then I had to look outside the window at about, I don't know, half five or something like that. And it was a red sky. Red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. Half an hour later, it was hammering down with rain. <laughs> yeah, um, you can't trust this year. And in the Her Majesty's Daily Telegraph today, they say don't plant anything out until maybe out. Cast not a clout till maybe out. Um, because you could have a frost and it could be cold. And uh, yeah, but my potatoes are out. I might stick some more in today because the weather forecast says sunny. Anyway, in the meantime, ordered my eco fuel. Uh, bioethanol for my trangia um, and they were having a sale um, and then um, downstairs my room is about four miles away from the reception um, went to the brewers fair which is right next door and luckily there's a covered way there which is just as well because it was still raining um, full english they do an excellent full English and it's all you can eat, which is just as well because I couldn't separate about four rashes of bacon. So I just threw them on the plate. Yeah, I'm back into Premier Inn full Englishes. And I had a heart from the Premier Inn Twitter team, which is just as well. <laughs> um, and also, they still have the conveyor belt toast maker. And for the first time ever, I think, two rounds of toast put them through... And they were perfect. Well, maybe not perfect, but they were good enough for me and I didn't want to stick them through again. So that was a positive, to be honest. Um, then on to spoons. The Posset Cup, where they have new cans, craft cans, Big C and Baby Faced Assassin. Although I've had Baby Faced Assassin before, but Big C from the Maddles, Maddles? Mad Squirrel Brewery with a punt. Two pound thirty one or three pound twenty one. I think it was three twenty one to be perfectly honest. Um, but there you go. And these videos they get in noticed. Uh, I had um well I had one back for, I think it's from the states and someone just said huh. And then later on I had another one saying why is this in my recommendations? I have no idea. Perhaps you are into boring videos of people in premier in rooms just burbling on about nothing in particular. Anyway, hello. There you go. Um, back to the sirens call in the rain. Started off with a mild from Bristol and then an ESB from Bristol. You can't beat old school. And then a, um, well, it looked like a hen party came in, although they were very well behaved and the place packed out and there were more fine ales. And I finished off with a bottle of Cantalon Goose 2022. So that counted as a unique, which was very positive. And here's the thing. I went into the co-op, which is about two doors down, and gave them my loyalty card. And I said, is that a Southern co-op loyalty card? And I said, don't think so. I said, we only take Southern co-ops. Which, I've used that loyalty card in Dorchester, but apparently Southern co-ops are a thing. Who knew? Anyway, back home today. Um, go into Aldi, get some more compost, get some food, plant some desire, do the washing, um, indoor planting as well. It's going to be busy. Anyway, thank you for watching this, even if you say, huh. <laughs> Good.